The little boy is doing better tonight, we understand, but still recovering after being shot inside a community center. That's what police tell us as we followed up on the investigation, which also led to a 14-year-old being arrested. Knoxville police said the older boy had two guns in his backpack, that the shooting was accidental, and the victim was not targeted. The terrifying event took place with kids in the building at the YWCA Phyllis Wheatley Center on South Cruz Street. Continuing coverage for you tonight, Six On Your Side reporter Dominic Webster joining us here in the studio. So Dominic, I know you've been talking to mental health experts about how to talk to your children after such a scare. Bo and Lori, yesterday's shooting and the reaction from kids at the YWCA is a reminder for parents to check in on their kids when incidents like this happen. Talking to your children about violence is hard, but how do you talk to them after it happens in a place that's supposed to be safe? The McNabb Center talked with me today on the best way to go about it. It's really important that that as adults, um, caregivers are able to open up conversations and talk with children about some of the feelings and thoughts that they are experiencing. The best way to talk with your child is to start the conversation and let them ask questions. Oftentimes, um, parents, caregivers may wonder if it's if it's okay or if it's appropriate. Um, to have those conversations with children, um, but children are creating, they're wondering, they're, they're hearing information, um, they may see news stories and images, um, and the, their brain is, is going to wonder, what is this going to happen to me? The YWCA releasing a statement today saying, quote, the safety of our children is the utmost priority of the YWCA Phyllis Wheatley Center, adding that they are acting swiftly to review the safety precautions in light of the June 28th accident. Their findings will determine what kind of changes need to be made. The McNabb Center also says parents should be on the lookout for red flags indicating their kids might need extra help. Children may display their reactions in various ways. Some children may have externalizing behavior. They may be um, behaviors that are maybe disruptive or maybe more hyperactive. Other signs may include withdrawing from normal activities or a dramatic change in personality. The McNabb Center also says that it is incredibly important to check in on your kids after incidents like this and always to be on the lookout for those red flags. That's when it's time to call the mental health professionals. All right, Dominic, thank mm -hmm. you. And, of course, we're going to keep up with the next steps in this investigation. Yeah, and Dominic mentioned the review underway by the YWCA. Today we also learned more about what they're looking at. Uh, the center has systems and protocols in place, including a single monitored exit slash entry. Under consideration are lockers at the entrance, which would mean backpacks and other items don't go into the common areas with children. Remember, the guns were found in the suspect's backpack after the shooting. Also, the center is looking at options for metal detector security. The center says it will consult with staff, board of directors, and families, but also communicate with the public on the way forward. And of course, we will keep you posted through that process and the court case coming out of that shooting.